my name is Liz. Uh, I used to tell people my name was Liz like the Queen, um, but that bitch is dead now, so... <laughs> I, what I am left with now is, I am Liz like the tube line. It's not quite the same. Comparing myself to a 12 foot wide gaping hole... <laughs> It, it doesn't do a lot for my confidence, I'll tell you that. But uh, there are a couple of things that I've got in common with the Elizabeth line. So, uh, you know, um, I do go that bit further. <laughs> and I will get you there quicker. <laughs> Looking at me, you might wonder, you might ask me a couple of questions about my appearance. You might say, Liz, is that your natural hair colour? The answer is no. You might ask me, Liz, is that the uh, colour you intended to dye your hair? <laughs> the answer is also no. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when a 42-year-old woman walks into a branch of Super Drug one day, looks at the bleach section and goes, in the word... Excuse me. <laughs> she doesn't do that. She goes, in the words of Dr Pepper, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Apparently this. Apparently you used to end up looking like some sort of pound shop Princess Diana. <laughs> or to give him his proper name, Prince Harry. <laughs> he, he didn't fully commit, did he? God, she went all the way. He just ran off to America. Um, I was thinking of other ways that I could describe this look apart from pound shop uh, Princess Diana. And I thought of another couple, I thought of maybe Auntie Eminem. <laughs> Jedward's mum. I asked my husband, and uh, the one that he gave me was female Trump. <laughs> Which was a great way of getting himself out of getting laid for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I went to quite a rough school in uh, South London when I was growing up. Um, the kind of school where on the school uniform list at the end is a stab vest. The, uh, the kind of school where one of the dessert options at the canteen is a packet of Benson and Hedges. <laughs> and uh, when I went to this school, we used to have these uh, educational videos kind of telling us about, uh, you know, things that you should be careful of. So, for example, not to play on the train tracks, uh, not what to do in the event of a nuclear war. Uh, I mean, for that second one, I think you just, like, hide under a table and wait to die. I think that's about it. Um, but I was telling my friend about this, and he actually came from very rural, very leafy, very beautiful Harrogate up in the north. And he was telling me that where he lived, um, then in the school, one of the educational videos they had was about slurry pits and about the danger of, of falling into them. Now, if you don't know what a slurry pit is, if they have them on farms, it's where they put all of the animal waste. And obviously, it would be a very, you know, difficult, terrible place to, to end up. Um, and we found this really, I found this really interesting, you know, because, you know, come from South London, from where I was, you know, we never would have seen that video because uh, we already lived in a shit hole. <laughs> I've been trying to make some changes at home, trying to be a better person for the planet, um, trying to eat less meat. So, at home, we've been using some of these meat alternatives, and uh, we have a little code between me and my husband about whether I'm using a meat alternative. So, for example, if I'm making fake chicken, we'll call it thicken. If we're using fake bacon, I'll call it bacon. There was a bit of confusion the other day over the fake duck. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if anyone else here knows of the uh, concept of, uh, of a steak and blowjob day. Anyone heard of that? Yeah. Super, not just me, excellent. Not just something my husband's told me. <laughs> other, other people know this too. So for those of you who don't know, Steak and Blade Your Day is for, um, it's like a Valentine's Day for men. So where instead of uh, giving someone a box of chocolates and buying them some roses, you will cook them a steak and give them a blowjob. Now this is all well and good, but it doesn't really fit in with my new lifestyle of trying to eat less meat. So I'm trying to find ways to, to veganise this. And I came up with a few other suggestions, you know. I thought of maybe hummus in a hand job, uh, broccoli and bukkake. <laughs> you, uh, you'd need another vegetarian in on that one though, I think, right? <laughs> but um, my favourite one, and the thing I'm going, one I'm going to put to my husband as a suggestion, is uh, tofu and a tin. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, you've been lovely this evening. Have a good one.